Oh, yeah, yeah. We've got a brand new written five minute comedy play from the Ukraine. Hey. Hey. So please welcome, has he got a title? <clears throat> We're the Uncranians. The Uncranians. <laughs> through there about seven months ago, met these guys, they hosted me, and together we translated um, <coughs> the works of a poet slash storyteller called Les Podorvyansky. He's never ever been translated into English before, and it's never been performed before, so this is genuinely a world first. So, uh, this is a play by Les, Les Podorvyansky called A Shitload of Butter. Ah, yes, the mountain. <laughs> the stage consists of an ugly painted kiosk with a young, with a sorry, with a vendor inside. Near the kiosk stands a huddle of idiots waiting for a tram. Suddenly, another idiot runs towards them and slams his head right into the kiosk. Idiot in a sheepskin hat. What are you doing, mate? Can't you walk just like the rest of us? The idiot who's out of breath, lying down. There is a shitload of bother there. Everybody. Where? Where? The idiot who's out of breath. There. And then he dies. <laughs> the second idiot runs in. He zooms through the rest of the idiots like a bullet and then runs off into the distance. Idiot in a flat cap, jokingly. Wow, that was pretty fucking fast. The idiots who are standing there laugh stupidly. Idiot in a sparkly overcoat, confidently and sharply. There is a shitload of butter. There. The idiot in a sparkly overcoat runs off in the direction in which, according to him, the shitload of butter is situated. <laughs> idiot in a tracksuit bottoms with a perhaps bag. Uh, <laughs> Luda, why are we still standing here? Do you have any idea how many twats are gonna come flooding in right now? <laughs> the idiot in tracksuit bottoms and Luda take off. Five burly idiots run in all at once. They're carrying sacks full of butter and each has a whole pack sticking out of their mouths. The idiots can barely speak, can, or, sorry, can barely move their tongues as they try to chew it, making disgusting munching sounds. One of the idiots. This is fucking great. It's practically ice cream. <laughs> Everyone bewilderedly watches the burly idiots as they go, standing there like they have tetanus. The idiot in a sheepskin hat suddenly gets mad. Let's go! The crowd, stumbling, rushes after him making a fearsome roaring sound that transforms into a woman's shriek. The vendor pops his head out of the kiosk and enviously watches the idiots leave. A few dashing young idiots appear from the direction in which the butter is situated. They've got butter all over their stupid faces. They're carrying stretchers on which lies a shitload of butter. Sitting right on top of the butter, butter is another idiot who is vomiting up butter. Vendor. What is wrong with him? Idiot. This will happen to you, old man. If you eat a shitload of butter... From the direction from which the idiots came, one can hear a wild roar and shrieks. Here and there, horde after horde of butter lovers sweep by the kiosk. The idiot in the tracksuit bottoms and Luda appear, crawling on all fours, sagging under the weight of the butter. In their eyes is pure happiness. Idiot in the tracksuit bottoms. You see, I told you that someday this day would come. That this would happen, but you didn't believe it. Luda. If we knew it was fucking coming, we should have a car. A fucking car. Fuck dragging all these bars around like this. Three idiots enter. They're carrying the idiot in the sparkly overcoat, whose body is encased in butter. The idiot in the sparkly overcoat. Fuck you all, you bastards. Seven against one. Fucking fascists. The other idiots smile. One of the idiots. <laughs> Talking shit. It will cover your head in a butter as well. Vendor. Guys, what are you gonna do to them? Idiots go for it. Well, fucking constrain him. <laughs> From another direction, an aggressive old woman trots over to the kiosk. I do have voice. The aggressive old woman to the vendor. Why are you just sitting there, you old fart? The vendor casts a frightened glance at the woman. 
The old woman runs away, threatening the vendor with a fist. Sagging under the butter, a unit of female childcare workers passes by. Crawling behind them is the idiot in the sheepskin hat with a chunk of butter in his mouth. One of his legs is helplessly dragging behind him. The idiot in the sheepskin hat. Girls, pull up your skirts. I'll give you some butter. And then he guffaws. One of the female child care workers heaves a considerable lump of butter towards him and it hits him straight on the head. The idiot in the sheepskin hat, sheepskin hat emits a short shriek and dies. A stout woman enters. She has a moustache, warts and a hunk of butter under her arm. The woman to the vendor. Aaron, get ready to go home tonight. We're having a nice slice of fried butter for you. She notices the corpse of the idiot who was the first to bring the news of the butter. Aaron. He died. Give him some butter. Warily, the woman cuts off a piece of butter and puts it in the dead idiot's mouth. Aaron gets out of the kiosk and secures the latch with wire. Aaron has no legs. Instead, he has a little trolley and two weighted pads which he uses to maneuver himself around. <laughs> a tram finally arrives. It is absolutely empty and blue. Aaron and the stout woman slowly approach the tram stop. Apart from them, nobody boards the tram. Entering the door, the stout woman takes Aaron under her arm and gets aboard with Aaron and the butter. The tram ringing slowly, sorry, the tram ringing, slowly moves off into the sunset to the inspiring sound of the polonaise by Oginsky and the constrained cries of butter lovers. The end. <laughs> That was the Uncranians, and confirming that well known Edinburgh rule the better the title, the bigger the shit. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>